<laughs> the famous Johann Gauss, master of Gauss Island by trade, has called out for the legendary Trinautic Tournament, a contest between the crews of Captain Base and Captain Van and the people of Gauss Island. Traditionally, each of the three teams contributes a new game of chance, incorporating at least two random variables. While Pascal is steering towards Gauss Island, Bernoulli and Laplace are discussing an interesting game of dice. Look at my die! I've colored the faces of the die according to the number of pips. You get green for even and red for odd numbers. Fantastic! Let us use the color of the side that faces the gambler as a bonus or malus factor to alter the result. My dear Bernoulli, what a brilliant idea! In fact, the dice Bernoulli and Laplace are using is not a normal dice. Here, the opposing faces do not automatically add up to 7. Instead, 1 opposes 3, 2, 5 and 4 is opposite to 6. Now here's the game. The result of a dice throw is doubled if the side pointing to the player is green and subtracted by 1 if it is red. I roll a 6 and the green side faces me. So I double the number I rolled, receiving 12 points. Ah, let me give it a try too. I roll a 1. The face looking at me is red, so I get... Mamma mia! Zero points. Laplace, would you mind swapping scores? I would indeed, Bernoulli. Anyway, it's fascinating how we generate 10 different possible results out of a single die. I am wondering, how many points do we get on average on this game? Good question. Hmm, I think the probabilities of the color seem to depend on the number of pips. A question to you, Bernoulli. Since the luck is on my side, how many points do I get on average if I know the side facing me is green? Fortune favors fools. In the meantime, Captain Base and Navigator Pascal have business to discuss. Captain Base, I am convinced Bernoulli entirely underestimates my abilities as a navigator. Therefore, I have allowed myself to compile a list of all the aberrations of each sailing turn ever since he made this horrid accusation. I swear, Ponceau Island was definitely not my fault. Can you please help me to evaluate my statistics? Of course I can. If deviations are especially large in a certain direction, this might be a sign of an ocean drift. What if the ship always suffers a drift either to the left or to the right? This might indicate a deformation of the ship's hulk or be the doing of barnacles. Well, let's hope it's the ocean current. All right, let's see how Bernoulli and Laplace succeed in the new task for the Tree Nautic Tournament. Ah, Captain, I'm so looking forward to the Tree Nautic Tournament. Let's hope the luck is on our side and we defeat Ven. Look, we have invented such a splendid game, the Strange Dice. We have even found its distribution. It's wonderful. Well, the shape of the distribution is interesting. It has a quite strong spread and is not uniform at all. Hmm. I think about the tournament to come and wonder how the total distribution will look like if all 30 crew members of one team will roll the strange dice and we add up the points. Will this distribution of the crew's score become symmetric? Let's think about it. Can you help Captain Base and Pascal to solve the raised questions? <laughs> if the green side is facing us, how many points do we get on average? How many points does the strange dice produce on average? What shape will the distribution of the summed results of the strange dice have? How can we analyze Pascal's statistics regarding the sailing deviation? <laughs> Watch the next video to gain the skills to answer them and get to know the central limit theorem. <laughs>